And now for a KCRA 3 update to a story that we brought you last night at 7. Today, teams from Sacramento's Department of Community Response were out helping to clean up a homeless encampment in the southern part of the city. And we told you yesterday some nearby businesses were concerned about the size of the encampment and the amount of trash that was there. KCRA 3's Jason Marks is in our newsroom. So, uh, Jason, the businesses weren't the only ones who welcomed the cleanup here. That was nasty out there. Yeah, absolutely, Brian. No, you know, some of the people who live in the encampment and actually love to see the city and they would love to see the city actually do more for them. A bit of relief came today for people living in the growing encampment at the corner of Highway 99 and consume this river boulevard. They guarantee every single one of these people don't want the trash in their backyard out here. Every single one of the homeless don't want to see the trash around. We really don't. We just don't have anywhere to put it. Sharon Fine has been on the streets for five years. She serves as mom to the others in the encampment. Today, she welcomed KCRA 3 into her home. It's tough, especially the winter. It is really tough. You can see why things are so difficult. There aren't the things we so take for granted. Running water, bathrooms, a roof overhead, or a warm place to sleep. For me, I am out here for a purpose, I know. I'm out here because God wants me here and wants me to help guide people the right way, I guess. Fine was surprised to see city workers show up this morning. They couldn't have that wall right there until the trucks were full, and then they went away, and they'll probably be back again tomorrow, I don't know. Teams from the city's Department of Community Response hauled away what it could, but you can see it's a lot more than a one-day job. Fine has a wish list for the city. <sighs> Dumpsters, porta potties shower stations, ways to get clean so we can get up and get jobs. Why can't they just go get a job? That's the one phrase Fine hates hearing the most. So much easier said than done. I've tried getting a job. I've tried doing it. It's hard to get. It's really not feasible for someone being homeless to have a, a, a job. Fine, like so many, says she would love to live somewhere else and hopes at some point the city can help find better housing. One that doesn't include cold nights under a tent. We're humans. We don't, we're not invisible. We're out here for multiple different reasons. And the city says right now resources are limited. They were able to hook up a veteran with an organization that helps with military benefits. That's the latest here in the newsroom. Jason Marks, KCRA 3 News. Right, we're going to have to see what the city does here. This is just not, it's not a long-term solution what's happening there at all. Yep, all right. Long way to go. Jason, thanks. Yeah.